what Tonto DK is saying is true. I know Tonto DK and Churchill. Both of them we are living in the same estate with me. Whistleblower exposed Churchill allegedly as she elaborates more. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. I wish I knew. So, according to this person, she said, I can confirm that this is 100% true. I had to use fake accounts because of my husband and also the ethics of my profession. I was living in the same Brains and Hammers estate in Apu just after Cedar Crescent Hospital in Apu. Churchill abused it into DK a lot back then and he even accused her of doing the ROGS that time. I was a lab scientist at Cedar Crest, oh, sorry, Cedar Crest Hospital back then, but now married and stays outside the country. Tonto came to our hospital with tears in her eyes. A nurse followed her to the restroom to get her urine for lab tests for trace of hard DRUGS. The results came out negative as I was shocked as well because I kept hearing people saying that they see Tonto at 3.45 nightclub in Abuja where heavy DRUG users do come but as God may have it her result came out negative and she was still breastfeeding back then I was equally an active social media person when her results came out Tonto posted it on her IG then but some gullible people didn't believe it anybody that knows Cedar Crest Hospital in Abuja knows that is rich man's hospital that that top polit politicians do come with their family and their results can never be altered. Tonto has suffered a lot from that man and I'm glad that she left him with her son because that guy was into, hmm, into jazz or things. Tonto is a strong woman just like Sandra in Hoa. Both ladies are very nice but Africans see marriage as a big deal and it makes them abuse these two hard-working smart ladies at rosemora is a hmm, useless zing, zing, zing girl and no fit for her life stand these two women without the crooked activities and money the husband churchill collects from people rosie a pure street girl before she finally hooked churchill hmm. any babe that goes out often in lagos island should confirm what I said. And this other person said, I never knew that Churchill was that ex husband of T. I know him very well here in Ghana. Pa, ah, ah, this guy, we are laughing uncontrollably. What business was he doing here? Did he ever said he was working? And this other person said, Now, nah, true talk be this. I was staying in the opposite Brain and Hammers estate, opposite Tonto to own. Security guys do gossip about Church Hill abusing the celebrity and eating her money. It was glaring. The gist was around was going around in the estate. So all these revelations, alleged revelations, started when popular blogger Kutu Juice opened up about this against Church Hill. And she said, Please can someone tell Sister Mary's husband? to go and pay sister Chioma of Brains and Hermes Estate in Abuja her money. Or more, even the cab driver Baba that he lied to that T had packed out with all his ATMs and cash has not been paid the money he borrowed from him to date. Why did our baby daddy Jabba and doesn't reside in Ghana anymore? Well, because his good friend and business partner someone was arrested by EOCO, the same as EFCC in Nigeria, in Ghana, and he is currently in jail for FRAUD. That money was huge. Someone started clearing his first, bought a May badge and a house in very in a very expensive area in Ghana called Trazako. Our baby daddy had planned to use his own court to do big boy things to pepper those who cared. Furthermore, um, according to Kutu Juice. She said Choma was his next door neighbor. He borrowed 250,000 naira from her since that time and to date 
he hasn't paid her money. In case he argues, remind him that Chioma, the lady who lived with her family next to the service apartment he rented while him, T and their son lived there. The name of the street is called Kingsway Road and is in Brenza and Hammers Estate. The next door neighbors also confirmed that indeed T was beaten. He left T and her son without paying any bills. Apparently, when he left, there was a time the estate people had to cut off his light and water because he was not paying bills. T has supposedly received several warnings from the management and they always had to pardon her because she had a new baby. Remember all this I found out from neighbors who eventually led me to the estate agents. Also, the day bracket the neighbors confirmed occasions where t was beaten these people i spoke to are big women married to big responsible men in society in fact i had to go to turn to the case um youtube channel to listen to that uh, video properly guys king turn to dk that's her evidence my dear forget there is no way she made up all those things like she's saying with the whole f with all her confidence like man if you understand if you've not been in this like i, I, see, I see some people saying uh though me i'm not a party to people bringing their mess on social media you know settle it behind closed doors but you see this issue of churchill according to toto dk not performing his father's duty to his child, his obligation to King Andre, who happens to be Toto DK's child, you know, he had for um, Churchill. But on his birthday, he, he is always quick to type birthday messages to pass a narration, a first narration, you know, on social media. My dear, forget, if you are a single mother, or if you are not, go and ask single mothers what it takes to train up a child. Two hairs in a pain, let alone of one person. The economy is not smiling to allow one person to be taken care of a child. So I understand her pain, you know. I understand her pain. What church she would have done, you know, is just keep quiet and let go. Mm? This is not the first time, you know, of Tonto DK coming out to prove a point. He always... Give him, give her a listening ear. You know, sometimes he replies, but he doesn't. He doesn't push it more further than he did this time around. Now, Toto DK is out for anything, and the evidence or evidences this woman has been bringing out. In fact, even after Churchill served her that um, lawyers, um, what is, it, is it press statement or something, whatever, Toto DK did not back down. No, she even made a video. Aside from that, she still went to her YouTube channel cropped out some part of those and uh, her videos on youtube and post it on her instagram account she's not only posted there she pinned it that whosoever that wants to check her page whatever reason your mindset of going to that page you must surely see that video in fact this one is literally out she wants people to hear her truth she's tired of living in dark like someone trying to paint her that bad person i'm giving the people um the impression that he's a good father was she a bad mother so i understand her pain i understand her plight but guys um this is how people reacted this person said the fact that she went back to apologize shows a good cultured girl miss Tonto, we believe you have kept a constant so story and some of us are wise to tell the liar from the honest god made you a way to wealth and more fame um this person said if you look closely you will see that Tonto had been badly beaten and at that point she doesn't even have strength anymore see in anything you do in this life just try and marry a kind man who has the fear of God this reaction is coming from the video of Tonto DK posted in fact she posted a live video that if you watch just if you don't watch that video go and watch it you understand what I'm saying you can go over to her YouTube channel to watch it or over to her Instagram page her Instagram handle is Tonto Let's uh -huh. you can go and watch it and see for yourself 
I would have loved to post it here, but she cropped it out from YouTube. So guys, with that being said, that brings me to the end of this video. In case you're watching for the first time, this is Lali Woman on Courts. Please do me that favor by subscribing to my YouTube channel and turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos. On this channel, we react, we analyze, we give trending gist celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories. And to my tennis subscribers, of course, you all know that this video can never be complete without me appreciating you guys. Thank you for always watching, liking, commenting and sharing. Whichever way you have to this channel's growth i don't take that for granted to you watching for the first time thank you for watching also bye bye for now as i'm signing up for my next one peace out love you all okay messiano